people there. It's that simple. James Otiano knows the importance of having an ambulance service. He helps raise donations for the first responders, and those donations are needed. Director of the Greene County Ambulance Service Christopher Jones says while payments for transports and call volume is up from a year ago, it's still not enough to support the service every month, so he is looking for a solution. We either need to get a monthly bingo fund payment like all the other emergency services do because the ambulance service is the only one that does not receive monthly bingo funds in Greene County or a millage increase as far as what we get uh, for at the warm tax every every year. Jones says the ambulance service gets a quarter of a mil from taxes. That equals out to 50 to $60,000 a year. He tells me they go through that in insurance and payroll in one month. So something needs to change, like getting revenue from the bingo funds. All the citizens should be concerned about, you know, there not being an ambulance service and the people who were voted into office and all the elected officials should be concerned about that as well. And this is a very real need. Jones says Green Track's closure wasn't a blow to revenue because it gave the ambulance service sporadic donations. He tells me making payroll isn't a problem, but it's other financial costs and bills he needs funds to cover, like diesel fuel, medical supplies, and maintenance. To try to offset this, Jones says he's increased the number of non-emergency transports. I asked Jones how much longer the service can go and the financial situation it's in. A lot of people would think, you know, we wouldn't have made it a few months the way things were going when I took over and you know we're almost a year later and you know we're still trucking along. In Utah, Megan Scrano, ABC 3340 News.